Meredith earns $33,700 annually and wants to invest 10% of her salary each month for retirement. If she invests in a retirement account that earns 5.4% compounded monthly, how much will she have at retirement? There are three questions associated to this problem. But first, we're assuming that Meredith's salary is going to stay the same the entire time. So that's what we're building off of. All right, so here we go. What's our first question? A, what is the dollar amount that Meredith will be taking out of her salary each year to put towards retirement? This is actually a simple question for us. We know that Meredith earns $33,700 and wants to invest 10% of her salary each month. So if she's investing 10% of her salary each month, she's actually investing 10% of her entire salary. So we're going to start by taking 10% of 33700 dollars and if we take 10% of 33700 dollars we'll multiply 0 0.10 because 10% converted into a decimal is 0 0.10 and we'll multiply that on our calculator by 33700 now if you also happen to know a lot about multiplication by tens and hundreds and tenths you'll know that multiplying a number by 10% is simply equivalent to moving the decimal place one over to the left. Or in other words, you can also get that on your calculator. When you take 0.10 or 0.1 times 33,700, you should get the amount 3,370. And that's the amount each year that Meredith is gonna be investing towards retirement. $3,370. All right, let's move on to question B. What is the dollar amount that Meredith will be putting into her retirement account each month? Again, this is another simple question. We just have to put our thinking caps on. So if we know that each year Meredith is investing $3,370, how much is she going to be investing each month? Well, for this question, we're simply going to take 3,370 and divide by the total number of months in a year, which is 12. If we take 3,370 divided by 12, that gives us $280.83 when we round to the nearest penny or the nearest hundredth. $280.83. And so that's the answer for B. $280 and 33, excuse me, 83 cents. That brings us to part C. What will be the amount in the retirement account after 41 years? Now this is where it gets a little trickier. For this, we actually want to use some of those formulas we've been learning about in our chapter, the finance formulas. Specifically, we want to use the formula for annuity. And that formula is P sub N equals D times the quantity of the quantity of 1 plus R over K to the KN or NK minus 1 all divided by R over K. This formula should look familiar. In this formula, we have the following variables identified. PN is our future amount, or the amount in the account after N years. So amount in the account after N years. What is D? D is our monthly deposit, or our deposit if it's annual deposit or quarterly deposit, but this is our deposit that we do, our scheduled deposit. And for our case and purposes, it's going to be each month. R, well, R is our interest rate. K 
K is the amount of compounds per year. And N, N's our number of years, correct? All right, so let's look in our problem and see if we can identify what each of these variables actually is. So P sub N is what we're looking for, right? We are looking for the amount in the account after 41 years. Specifically, we could say that we're looking for P sub 41. Now what's D? D is our deposit each month. Well, each month from part B, we see that we're adding in or depositing $280.83. What is R? R is our interest rate. So in place of R, we're going to put 0 0.054 because we're converting 5.4% into a decimal. K is 12 because we're compounding 12 times per year. And K times N is going to be 12 times 41, minus 1, parentheses closed, all divided by R over K, or 0 0.054 over 12. Now, as you know, we've been working with these finance formulas. This is a huge thing. It's a huge calculation to work out by hand. So we've been using Desmos in order to calculate this. So I'm going to go to Desmos, type this in, and pull it up. Let's then go over to Desmos, type it into that calculator, and see what we get. Make sure when you type in to Desmos, you type it in just like the expression that I have written here. So you want to have 280.83 as being your monthly deposit. You have to make sure you have all of the parentheses that I have, specifically 1 plus 0 0.054 over 12 is contained in a parentheses. That's all raised to the 12 times 41. And that expression is subtract, it, 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 from that expression we take away 1. And then the whole thing is divided by 0 0.054 over 12. So typing that into our Desmos calculator using all of our functions, we come up with the answer $505,925 and, and this is a dollar amount, so we have to make sure we round to the nearest two decimal places or hundredths if you like. So we're going to look right to the right, so we're going to round that up, meaning that our answer is $505,925.19. Let's transfer that amount back into our answer box. And I'm typing 505,925 and 19 cents. If you have any questions at all about this video, please don't hesitate to reach out and contact me.